All right, so using Auto Rig Pro, um, I tried to make sure I was in the same version of Blender as you, 2.93.6, so I can show you. Uh, first, you have to in install the add-on. If you don't know how to do this, um, you go to Edit, Preferences, and then uh, over here on the left, you have some options. So you go to Add-on, and then click Install, and then you just have to go find the file that I sent you. Um, So you click on uh, the Auto Rig Pro Master. You don't want the rig tools, just Auto Rig Pro Master. So that that zip that I sent you, you have to unzip it. It's got multiple things in it. So uh, unzip that, and then you want the Auto Rig Pro Master add-on. So you install that, and now over on the right, you have a new tab. This Auto Rig Pro. Um, so here we have a mesh. Uh, it is not separate pieces. If it were, um, you'd need to go in and make sure you select all of the pieces. Uh, and with naked characters, this works great. If you have clothes and stuff, rigging can get a little tricky, but that's a lesson for a different day. Right now, we're just going to go over Auto Rig Pro. So I have my mesh selected over here in the Auto Rig Pro tab. Uh, I have three options at the top, rig, skin, and miscellaneous. So we're going to go to rig. Uh, this is a hugely powerful rigging tool. Um, we're not going to use it to its full potential today. We're just going to do a couple quick, easy things. So under rig, we're going to select this object. And then down at the bottom, we're going to go, you have these three options, auto rig, uh, smart, remap, and export. We want smart. So we're going to go in the smart tab and click get selected objects with our body selected. Then it's going to take us to this new little uh, dialog here. And uh, we're going to add the rig bit so it can do its algorithm. Uh, getting this right can be a little twitchy uh, depending on the mesh. And you might have to redo it a few times. Uh, it just takes some practice. Um, so, yes, yeah, so you're going to keep going through and adding the markers. Uh, I find with the wrists, uh, if your fingers don't go automatically properly you need to adjust the wrist a little bit I usually just end up going in and adjusting the fingers myself um, so I add a spine and that's the spine root so it's kind of like where the hips would be on another rig uh, and ankle so once you have all your markers placed uh, we're gonna skip the facial because we're rigging for unreal uh, if you want to do facial stuff in unreal you got to use shape keys to do it uh, on the unreal mannequin and then we'll hit go and we'll give it a second all right so now it has generated this rig for us let's go through and take a look at, at where it put everything uh see so it kind of jacked the fingers up so uh we'll have to go fix that uh and if you look i have uh you can't see it, but mirrors turned on, so um, we're doing the, we only have to work on one side of the rig. Uh, all right, so we're going to get all of our fingers lined up properly. All right, let's go look at the arms. You see these uh, clavicle bones are, are way back in the middle of the mesh. We probably want to pull those forward a little bit. And actually, it wouldn't be a horrible thing to pull the whole bone forward just a bit to give us this bend in the arm. Uh, and then I like to pull these a little more forward to preserve that chest. Uh, the legs look pretty good. The toes could come out a little. And then maybe up just a little. All right. So now we have our rig. It's ready to go. How's the head look? Head looks fine. Okay. So now once you have your rig. Son of a bitch. Look at that. All right, so sorry about that. Apparently, uh, there was a version change. Didn't realize it. So uh, when your skeleton comes up, if it gives you this error, update required, you can just click update, and it'll it'll fix all the bones. Um, 
All right, so cool. So now we have our, our rig, uh, and what we have to do is create the control rig with it before we skin anything. So once you have your, your rig selected, um, you can go in object mode, pose mode, however you want to handle it, but with the rig selected under here, under secondary controller, since we're going to Unreal, we need twist bones to match the rig. So choose your secondary controllers and go down to twist. So now we have twist here. And once you have your twist selected, click match to rig and it will build the control rig for us. So now we have this awesome control rig. Um, and then if you go back into object mode, uh, you can select your mesh and your control rig. Then go up on the auto rig pro tab up to skin. So you hit skin and... Um, right now we're just going to use heat maps. Like I said, uh, we can get into voxel skinning if you're, you're having trouble with, uh, clothes and stuff. We can talk about that later, but, uh, so select heat maps, make sure you have your mesh selected. And then the, the rig is the active selected. Actually, this bind key won't show up unless you have it properly selected. Uh, if you have a really high poly mesh, make sure you turn on optimize high res. We don't, this is uh 35,000 verts and you can see the threshold here is 70. So we're fine. Uh, so then we're going to click bind and give it a second to do its thing. All right, so let's see, uh, see if it bound how it did. So let's just select this root and uh, all right so we have our character rigged to this awesome control rig um, so for it's really handy for animating the only thing I'm not a huge fan of is the finger controls uh, just because each finger has to be handled kind of uh, individually I'll show you um, with with each knuckle and it's a huge pain in the ass uh, but uh, it's it's still awesome it's still a really good control rig um, if you need to change your your uh, your pull targets for where the elbows and shoulders bend or elbows and knees bend you can do that those are your pull targets there each of these big boxes is your IK handle for the foot and for the hand um, this guy up here should be pretty obvious. He's the head. Uh, each one of these round bones in the middle doesn't really do anything. It's just there for support. Uh, so you can see it, it, it's hardly linked to anything. It's just to add some, uh, some rigging to, to keep the deformations looking good. Uh, whereas if you grab these square ones, that's when you're going to actually move, move the mesh. Uh, so square moves the whole thing. Uh, the circles are just for support. They're kind of your bend and your twist bones. So now that we have our rig done, how do we get it into Unreal? So uh, let's go out of pose mode, back into object mode. Control tab is the short key for that, by the way. All right, and with our rig and mesh selected, we're going to go up to file, export, and instead of exporting as FBX, we're going to do auto rig pro FBX. I should note that your scale I know Unreal Scale is 0.01 of, of Blender Scale, but Autorig Pro handles all that for you. So for your scale, um, actually he is enormous. No, there we go. Um, so for scale, you can see we're at, at normal Unreal Scale. I wonder why that thing's so big. Ah, whatever. Oh, because it's in Unreal Scale. Just ignore me. So make sure that your mesh is is in real world scale and that all the transforms are applied uh, if you try to export from auto rig pro at, at 0.01 it's going to cause you some errors so uh yeah so we have our mesh and our rig selected under export we have this new option down here auto rig pro fbx so we're going to select that uh give it a name Whatever, this is fine. I'm not using this model anymore. Now over on the right, you have some options you need to set for Unreal. So first, obviously, we're going to select Unreal Engine, and it is a humanoid rig. Uh, make sure you have check rig selected uh, to preserve volume and all that, and make sure your twists look good. Uh, do selected objects only, just in case you have anything else in the scene. You don't want it to yank that in. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to rename the bones for UE. 
we're going to roll the axes to the proper and uh, we're going to add IK bones so we have them in the engine. Uh, we don't want to animate the IK bones, we just want them to be control bones. So, uh, okay, then here under animations, if you have any animations, um, make sure that you, you export however you want, whether you want to do uh, the whole stack or just the active animation or however however you want to send your animations then our miscellaneous under smoothing just make sure you have face smoothing turned on and that's it so now we'll hit export and uh, give it just a minute and it'll come up tell you character exported all right cool so let's go uh see this thing in unreal All right, so now we have a project here in Unreal. Let's just go make a new folder. And so now uh, we will import our character. And he is under. wrong file wrong drive wrong drive all right and then we'll go grab our our mesh there our fbx and then we'll set some settings so uh first off the rig so i'm going to select uh my ue rig it's actually called something else in this project but it is just the ue rig um it is sk custom UE. There we go. All right. So I have my, my UE skeleton selected. Uh, I don't really care about materials for this. So I'm going to turn that off. Uh, make sure your scale is in, um, uniform. If you have any shape keys or morph targets on the bone, uh, make sure you are importing your morph targets as well. Um, if you need animations, make sure you're importing animations and Yeah, right there. Import morph targets. So I think we're good there. Let's give it a go. So if we import all, it should import directly onto that skeleton with no errors, which it did. So now if we go look at it and we look at our skeleton, it is the Unreal Skeleton. And um, let's see how animations look like. Uh, the, see the shoulders are kind of screwed up. That's what I said. It can be twitchy depending on the model as to where everything needs to go. Uh, but the point is that it works, uh, and it works on the, the Unreal Mannequin, and it's fine. So you might have to go adjust your rig a little bit, but everything uh, works as it should, uh, and just needs a little bit of tweaking. So yeah, I hope this helps.